All right, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up call-out extensions in your Google AdWords campaigns, what they are, why you need them, and how you can crush your competition by using them. Okay, so first things first, you should be logged into your Google AdWords account. You should see your home screen here. And if you're not, Real quick, we'll come down here. We're going to go into the campaign that we're working in today to set up your callout extensions. And for us, that's going to be XYZ Roofers, our generic, awesomely named <laughs> example campaign that we built. So we're going to go into that campaign. Then you should see this. You should be in the overview tab. Now, it's real simple. What we're going to do is set up callout extensions. So what we're going to do is come down to Ads and Extensions. Click that. It's going to take us to this page where your ads are. You're going to move over up here to extensions. And this is where we're going to add in and build our extensions. So real simple, guys. You're just going to hit the plus sign, come down to call out extension, and we're going to add this. Okay? So basically, there's a couple options here. Uh, it tells you what campaign you're in, and we're going to, you can either add the call out extensions at the account, campaign, or ad group level. So you can have different different uh, call-out extensions for different ad groups. Um, that's more advanced strategy, and I have more advanced videos on that, but for this example, we're gonna be setting it up just at the campaign level, so these will show for all your ad groups under the campaign we're working in. Now, basically, what call-outs are, you can see here they drop below your description of your ad and your ad text, and they're just basically call to actions to, to get people to notice you. It's really, so if we toggle over to Google here, we did Philadelphia Roofer, because we're doing uh, XYZ roofing example. And you can see right here, these are call-out extensions. Reliable, dependable, competitive pricing, homeowner review pros, cost guides. There's a lot of different things you do. Here's some more down here. Superior communication. And as you can see, what they really do, they drop below your, your description text. And they just take up more real estate on, on uh, your, and more real estate with ad space on Google's front page. So the more extensions, the more stuff you can add, the more your ad sticks out to clients. Because if you look, I mean, if you land on this search, it's there's a lot going on, you know. Like this guy's got a, this guy's great. He's got a, a bunch of stuff going on. It's a giant ad. It sticks out. It's pretty good. I mean, because you're competing with the map people, then you got the organic guys, Yelp, all this stuff. So you got. It's really, really important that you make your ads stick out with you know clever copy, using all the extensions, everything like that. So that's just a 30,000 foot overview of what this is, what they are, where they show. Now most people, you can see, actually you go back, There's this guy's not even using them, okay? This guy's not using them. This guy has two of them. This guy is not using them. This guy's using them. So a lot of people are using them, some people aren't. The people who aren't, it's just... It's just poorer quality ads. You gotta you gotta use all the extensions possible. It's gonna get you a better click through rate. So, anyways, back into our campaign. Remember, we're under extensions, call out extensions. We're at the campaign level. We're gonna create our new call out text. You would just do it right here. So let's just say request free quote. Obviously, you want to put some thought into what you're gonna put down for your call outs, but for Example sake, we'll just do this. Come down here to advanced options. Now device preference, hover over the question mark. It kind of explains what's going on here. So how it works. Extensions with a checkbox for mobile are given preference on mobile devices, but are still eligible to show on computers and tablets. Okay, so you can, obviously you always want to choose mobile. And um, what we do, and this is totally just us, this isn't everybody, we actually do, so if we did that request free quote, call out extension, we would make this desktop and then we'd clone it and make it one mobile and just let Google decide which is more relevant to show to the user. But you can just make one and just make it mobile and it'll show for both. So that's just kind of like the shortcut to do it. Either way works fine. Come down here, you can you can have a start date and end date. I wouldn't really mess with that. You can run it during certain hours of the day, days and hours, that's pretty cool. And you give it its own ad schedule. We usually don't really mess with that either. We just want it to run when the campaign's running. And then you just hit save. And that's it, guys. You just created your first callout extension. Now, you either want to have four callout extensions or six or eight. or You know what I mean? You got to go just do it by groups, okay? Don't have two 
don't have three. Just if you're going to do it, do it four, six, or eight. Obviously, the more the better. Google was only going to show, I believe it's up to six, they'll, they'll show, depending on the text length and all like that. Sometimes four, most of the time four. But let that, you know, just put as many as you can and let Google figure that out for themselves. Just make sure that you put serious thought into your call out extensions, what call to actions to use, and stuff like that. All right, so if you guys have any questions, drop them below this video. I'd love to give you a hand, help you out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up below. And um, check out the links in the description. We've dropped some to our Facebook group, to our free ebook on how to optimize your AdWords campaigns. A bunch of cool stuff down there. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.